when we begin the discussion of the key editor operations in Cubase, some of the things we're talking about when we open up a MIDI part in the key editor, over on the left, you have all these different tabs, global tracks, expression map, node expression, the scale assistant, chord editing, quantize, transpose, and length. And you have the option to set up sections if you right click. So if something's not visible, you can bring it into view. But if you can click on every one of these tabs and confidently say you know how to operate all the functions listed, then you have a good understanding of what key editor operations are. For example, let's take this one that says chord editing. Right now, most of the options are grayed out. But immediately, if I select some MIDI notes, I can see what chord I'm actually dealing with. In this case, it says C-sharp minor. If I select some different notes, now it tells me I have an A chord. And I can do all kinds of different changes to these chords. I click on any of these different kinds of variations. Maybe I want to make it a minor chord. Or a diminished chord. Or a sus2. Maybe if I go down the list, I can change the inversions. Move it up. Move it down. Options for drop two and drop three, meaning I can take certain notes out of this chord and lower those if I want. And then ultimately at the bottom, I could create a new chord event from whatever I've changed this chord to. It's certainly one of the hidden gems in this list of inspector tabs is the one for the scale assistant. Opening that, we can see all kinds of options here. We go up to the global tracks. We can decide if we want to see our markers or our chord track. We have to turn this on with the right button but then all those options come into view. Going back to our scale assistant, if you want to know what keys to play, all you have to do is go up to the toolbar to a button that says pitch visibility. When you turn this button on, the keyboard on the left changes to reflect only the notes that are available from any particular scale that you choose. Then you can choose from a long list of available scales, Hungarian, Oriental, a blues scale, just so many options. Let me choose the pentatonic scale. At this point, I can just change to my line tool. Just draw lines of notes, which are automatically going to be on pitch. Learning how to use all these options that are already built into Cubase will speed up whatever distance you need to travel to experience your own creative ideas. And if you're looking for a complete explanation, along with step-by-step -step demonstrations that'll lead you through the entire subject of key editor operations in Cubase, be sure to visit the digitalaudiomanual.com.